Hey guys, so I'm doing a quick products I regret buying. Um, real quick note, something that works for you awesomely, if that's a word, may not have worked well for me. So take none of this harshly if you're like, hey, I actually liked that, or the heck are you talking about? Like, this is just my personal opinion. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing is this toothpaste. Okay, it's this um, Arm & Hammer Complete Clear Care Cleans, Whitens, Freshens, Extra Whitening. It looks like this. Normally, I love this, but the taste is just disgusting. It tastes like poopy. Well, not like poopy, but it just it leaves a horrible aftertaste, and then I have to immediately, you know, do like two things of mouthwash, and then I feel fresh and clean. But this seriously leaves like the grittiest, nastiest feeling in my mouth. So, this is definitely something that I regret buying. Um, another one I was so excited about because I really liked the packaging and I thought it looked really cool and it's Almay and I really love Almay products. Unfortunately for me, this was a fail. And it is a drugstore brand, obviously, but it's this Smart Shade Primer. Like I said, the packaging was really, really cool. So, I was actually really excited to use this, but it smells terrible. Um, I put it on my face and honestly, I don't feel like there's a difference at all. I don't see a difference. I don't feel a difference. I just feel nasty after I put it on. And it feels kind of like a little bit greasy. And I'm just, I'm not okay with that. I don't want to break out. And I just, if it doesn't do its job like it's supposed to, then forget it. I'm not going to finish using it. So, again, it looks like this. That's right. And that was just definitely a huge fail for me. So, yeah. Um, the next thing actually broke me out really bad. I couldn't figure out why. And then, um, you know, I finally figured it out. I changed up my skin routine, which you're supposed to do every six months because your skin tends to uh, adjust to the stuff that you're putting on it. So, anyways, um, going back to what I was saying, I tried this, and it was a favorite of Allure magazine. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll try it. I saw it on commercials with Vanessa Hudgens, and I was like, oh, that looks awesome. But it didn't work for me. So it might not work. For a lot of you, it may work for all of you. I don't know. This is just my personal opinion. This stuff really broke me out. And it says oil-free acne wash, great pink grapefruit foaming scrub, which sucks because I totally love the way it smells. I love the way it makes me feel after I use it because it has little micro exfoliating beads. I just don't like the fact that it breaks me out. So I think I'm allergic to a lot of the components that are in Neutrogena because I realized that throughout the years since I was like in high school, Everything Neutrogena that I used, there's something in it that just causes me to break out. Um, so, unfortunately, this didn't work for me. Max is playing around with my stuff, so if you hear a lot of noise, that's why. So, another fail for me was actually my last fail. Well, actually, I have one more fail, but um, is this Hope in a Tinted Moisturizer. The philosophy line. Um, I was excited about this and I used it a couple of times and when I used it, you know, I noticed it worked great. It was about light to medium coverage. The only thing is, is I really don't like the smell and it's really, really tough to blend in. So the thing about the, uh, the, the other con about this is the fact that it comes more in olivey yellowy undertones so if you're fair skinned or you lose some of that oliveness during the winter this isn't going to work for you and all of their colors run a lot more olive and yellow undertones so this is the color um in light which i thought was a little weird see what i mean this is supposed to be like this is obviously a little too orange for me so i put it on and i couldn't blend it in very well um at that time you know i was that color and i just it smells kind of like there's some kind of, like a mixture of baby lotion with some kind of medicine ointment. And I just, I really don't like it. I don't like having a weird chemical smell on my face when I wear stuff. So, unfortunately, I spent a ton on this because I was hoping for good results and it was such a flop. So, this was definitely not worth the money for me. And then lastly, what are you doing? Is this, which I mentioned in a previous, sorry, I'm picking up my stuff here which I mentioned in a previous video, is this Colossal Volume Express Waterproof. And I went through and talked about it in my mascara video, and if you want more in-depth detail on it, I can put the link over right here so you can check out that video. But I don't like waterproof mascaras, and this one was raved about for the longest time on YouTube, so I was like, hmm, 
maybe I'll try it. And I was like, uh, maybe I'll get the waterproof. You know, I've never had waterproof before. This was my first time having waterproof. And after, obviously, I can say that I'm not a fan of waterproof. I don't know if all waterproof mascaras are like this. But this was just horrible. It was a pain in the butt to get off my eyelashes to wash off. Um, it clumped them together like crazy. And it was just... Maybe it was the formula. It just it just wasn't for me. So this is a huge fail for me also. So that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much my fails. So if you liked this video, I can keep doing it. If not, that's okay too. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys all soon. Wait, I almost forgot. Leave below in the comment box what products you are not feeling, what don't work for you, so I can stay clear of those.